Uniform Charge Density. So here we're going to discuss uniform charge densities. In one dimension, that's linear charge density. In two dimensions, surface charge density. And in three dimensions, volume charge density. Let's first talk about linear charge density. We're considering the case in which the charge distribution is uniform. That means that if we have a line or wire of charge, the charge isn't concentrated more in some areas than others. Instead, the charge is evenly distributed throughout the entire line. The linear charge density has a value, and the Greek letter lambda is typically used to represent it. So lambda, the linear charge density, describes how much charge is present along a given length of line. So its units are charge per length, which is coulombs per meter. So let's select a segment from the line, which we've highlighted in green, and suppose this segment has length L. What's the charge Q of this segment? Well, we can plug in L as the length into our equation for lambda. We can plug in Q, which we're trying to find, as the charge. Now we can rearrange and move the L to the other side. And we see that Q is lambda times L. OK, now let's try the two-dimensional case, or surface charge density. We're assuming the charge is uniformly, that is, evenly, distributed over an area. The Greek letter sigma is usually used to represent the charge density in two dimensions. So sigma is charge per area, while lambda was charge per length. This means sigma has units of coulombs per meter squared. Now we can ask what the charge Q is for a region with area A. Well, if the surface has charge density sigma, we can plug Q and A into the equation for sigma. And by rearranging, we see that the charge Q is equal to sigma times A. Finally, in three dimensions, rho is the Greek letter of choice for charge density. We can write rho as the charge per unit volume, so rho has units of coulomb per meter cubed. If we ask what the charge Q is for a region with volume V, and the region has a uniform volumetric charge density rho, then rho equals Q over V. And this means that Q equals rho times V. So now let's summarize these equations for uniform charge density. In the one-dimensional or linear case, charge density lambda equals charge over length, that is Q over L. This is equivalent to saying that Q equals lambda L. In the two-dimensional case of surfaces, charge density sigma equals Q over A, or area, so Q equals sigma A. And in three dimensions, we're working with volumes, so volume charge density rho is Q over V, or volume, meaning Q equals rho V.